Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate some comparisons of classic DOS game music using the DOSBox emulator. I'll be comparing the differences between DOSBox built-in FM emulator versus using an iPad as a Roland sound canvas alternative. Roland Sound Canvas SC55 was a popular MIDI music module of the 90s. It was actually meant for music production, so it provided significantly better music quality than what the built-in PC speaker and the more commonly used FM-based sound cards offered. Some DOS game developers actually used the SC55 as their main music production tool, so having one would have given you the best interpretation of what the composer intended. But at a cost of $795 on its release, not many people owned one. Today, one can be obtained much cheaper, but still commands a higher price than what most people are willing to pay, and having an original setup for it will take up a lot of space. Another option is to use a device you may already have to mimic the SC55. Roland offers an official iOS app that lets you do just this, and I was able to get this working with my Windows PC and iPad. This video will only be a demonstration of this working. Check out my other video that gives detailed instructions on getting this working. But here's a quick overview on what's needed. There are two ways to accomplish this with an iOS device, a wireless and wired method. For the wireless method, you need the Sound Canvas app installed on your iOS device. This app costs $19.99, but weirdly when I try to open its profile page, it tells me that the app is not available in my region. But I'm still able to download it since I purchased it back in 2015. You also need the RTP MIDI software installed on your PC. RTP MIDI allows the communication of MIDI data between devices over a network, but wireless connections can have playback issues depending on the quality of your Wi-Fi connection. The wired connection was more reliable for me, but it's not working anymore. It seems that a recent update to my iPad broke the connection to the server software that's required to get this working over USB. Server software is required for Windows PCs to get this working, and the Windows versions of the software I use have not been updated in a long time. Macs do natively support USB over MIDI with iOS, but I don't have a Mac to test it with. So going forward, I will be using wireless connections. So now let me show you some comparisons between games using FM music, which is what most PCs were using at the time, and the Sound Canvas SC55 music. First up is Doom. Here is the FM music. And now the sound canvas music. Now, Ultima 8 FM Music. Here's the Sound Canvas Music. Dune 2 FM Dune The building of a dynasty 
Dune 2 Sound Canvas. The planet Arrakis, known as Dune. Finish the comparison with music from TIE Fighter. The FM first. And then the sound canvas. So those are the comparisons. In theory, this should also work with an original DOS PC by using a MIDI to USB cable to connect the iOS device. I'm not able to test that setup, but if I plug in a MIDI keyboard to the iPad, I can use it to play back the instruments on the Sound Canvas app. So this was a demonstration of using an iOS device as a Roland Sound Canvas. It offers you an alternative way to get better music out of your DOS games. Again, if you want detailed instructions on how to accomplish this, check out my video on how to do this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.